How you guys doing today? Most of you know me, but uh, for those of you who don't, my name is Brian Hussell. I'm going to talk a little bit about divergent thinking. And to help you better understand what divergent thinking is, I'm going to touch on Josh's subject just for one second here. And convergent thinking is uh, basically when you take all your resources and you focus on solving one problem or coming to a solution, something like that. Kind of a perfect example of that. Something we got here. This is a uh, multiple choice question. And uh, of course from the University of Phoenix. Take your resources from life experiences, things you've learned in classes, books, stuff like that, and you try to solve a problem. And divergent thinking is kind of the opposite end of that spectrum. It's basically where you maybe take one item and focus on how many uses you can do for it. And once again, going back to the examples, we're going to use this. Your common household screwdriver. Screwdriver, of course, is used for screws. Go figure. You ever thought about doing this? Taking this, set it up against your wall, give it a tap. X marks your spot. Now you know exactly where to put that screw so that when you go to hang up your picture, it hangs where it should. Okay? Some of the other things that you can use a screwdriver for, though, take your aerosol can before you throw them out and they explode in a trash can or something. Maybe take it, puncture a hole in it. It's actually the best way to dispose of a can. And uh, let's see what the, most people use a screwdriver for. And of course, open a can. Get in there, pry it open. Of course, you can pry doors and other things. Keep in mind, these are all just examples. Screwdriver should be used for only putting in screws. Another, another example of that, we're going to talk about a cotton swab. How many, cotton swab, of course, clean your ears. How many times have you taken a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, got some on there, cleaned out a wound? How about uh, your glasses? Maybe a watch or something. Get a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Get in those hard to reach spaces. Get around the, the grooves of that glasses there. Or better yet, take it. Put on some eye makeup, put on some face paints, of course, and of course, painting in general. Once again, this one, on the other hand, is used for many things. Kind of give you a few life scenarios. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play a dual role here and uh, show you some of the pros of divergent thinking. Okay, so basically, to give you guys a little bit of background on what's going on in this scenario, um, Brian, one of the brothers, will be looking for a truck and he's kind of unsure whether or not he should buy it and his twin brother Ryan is going to assist him giving him a little bit of advice and uh, divergent thinking as to what are some of the benefits to this and what are some of the uh, disadvantages so here we go oh, man I really like this truck I just don't know I don't know if it's worth it hey Brian what's going on man Oh, hey Ryan, what's happening, man? Hey, come here, dude. Check this out, man. Look, listen, I'm looking at this Chevy, and I'm, I'm really having a hard time. I just, I don't know, I really want to get it, but it's really kind of a little bit pricier than I want, and, and I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. What do you think, man? But look, man, um, it's a pretty nice truck, man. Four doors, pickup, four by four, hmm. I don't know, what do you think about using it for? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'd use it for. I, I don't know. I guess it's just kind of a big manly thing, you know? I mean, big truck, you know, big motor, stuff like that, you know? It's a manly vehicle. You know, I don't want to drive some wimp car like a Volkswagen GTI or something, or maybe even a Subaru. Hey, man, you can pick up my GTI all you want, or even Songy Subaru, but I'll tell you what, we get way better gas mileage than that truck's going to get, man. And so, uh, you know, that's one thing you got to keep in mind, you know? It's going to use a little bit more gas. You know, on the other hand, though, you do go camping a lot, so that's kind of nice because you can throw all your gear in the back, whatever, or, uh, you know, you got the quads if you want to go out to the dunes or something like that, you can do that. Um, how about this? You know, you've always been thinking about starting your own business and you did all that snow pond when we lived back in the Midwest, you know, maybe you can get a plow for it or something, make your money, go up to Flagstaff or, you know, whatever. Well, oh, man, I hadn't thought about it like that. Camping, towing, towing the, tr the boilers and... You know, my other car is paid off, too, and uh, if I kept that, I could buy this and I could probably write it off on my tax returns. I have been thinking about doing some more handywork, some handyman work, too, so uh, maybe even use it to throw my tools in there. You know what? I think I'm going to give this guy a call. I think it's going to be a good idea to get this. So, hope you guys got a little bit of a kick out of that. Uh, it's definitely fun. Uh, but uh, as you can see from the scenario, where Brian and Ryan work together using divergent thinking to not only come up with some of the advantages to buying the truck, but also some of the disadvantages, which include like the fuel mileage and stuff like that. 
Um, so you would think that uh, divergent thinking pretty much is a good way to go. And um, while uh, it, it does have its pros, um, I can think of one very good scenario where it is definitely a con. Let's take a look at that. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, there's a lottery. Alright, 13. Thir 31. Ooh, 10. 48. 49 and 11. I got 4 in the check. What does that mean? 10. $10,000? Chris! Oh, oh my god, I just won ten I just won ten thousand dollars! Oh! Oh my god! What do I do with the money? Oh my gosh! I get that A4 that I wanted. Oh man! That's sweet! I don't even have to Oh wait a second. Got that student loan. Stupid Sally me. School. Uh, I should really pay that off. But man, A4, I've been wanting that thing for a while now. Alright, 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 alright. Maybe I can, maybe I can put a little bit down on that. Maybe I can still put a little bit towards my student loan. Oh man, I got those stupid credit cards too, man. Stupid laptop. Oh man, I really want that TV. TV's only a grand. I can do that too. To see Chris on another another vacation. Oh man, gotta move back. What about that investment, man? I should take it. I should put it towards my retirement. That's what I should. I still got my current bills. What's the point? Oh man, I just don't know. Okay, so as we saw from that uh, scenario right there, the virgin thinking can sometimes lead us to have so many answers that sometimes we can't find what's the right one. Should I use the money to invest for my retirement, pay off my current credit cards, use it for more recreational, buy a TV, get that car, maybe take my wife on another vacation, something like that. Ultimately, I'm sure I would have came up with a, with a solution. However, I could have came up with the wrong solution, or at least thought so at a later point in time. So, that always isn't the scenario. I'm sure I probably would have figured out how to spend that $10,000, but like I said, coming back at a later point in time, I may have felt at that point it was the wrong decision. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you guys enjoy class.